Envision is a production of Elk TV. First in Elk News, we have, so let's say you want to leave and go get food without just walking out the front door and risking getting in trouble by Sifford. Um, there's a way to do that actually. So we have what is called a call-in dismissal. So your parents can call in and dismiss you for getting lunch or even I think from the day possibly. But what has to happen is it has to be two hours before your dismissal time. So let's say like you decide you want lunch five minutes before lunch. They're not gonna do it. It's gotta be two hours before the time that you wanna be able to walk out of the school. Homecoming is September 27th, which means you have exactly three weeks to ask your crush or anyone you wanna take to homecoming. And the dance, we have a dance this year. We have a dance and band can't go because we have a competition. Yeah. So y'all have fun with that. We haven't had a dance in several years, but and now we, now can't we do, go. and it's the 28th. Saturday after the game, so yeah. after you're done, you know, being happy that we won our game for homecoming, I guess. go to dance. Well, now in world news, this is very exciting for Grayson and myself. Grayson is very happy about this, I hope. Sam is too, I think. Are you Sam? You know what yes. this is? Yes. So, Ewan McGregor, famous Obi-Wan Kenobi, has reprised his role for the new show coming with Disney Plus very early next year, I think. The show Kenobi, which is just Obi-Wan Kenobi's story between Revenge of the Sith, and episode one in the timeline, A New Hope. So everything that happens between that, that's what we're getting. And it's Obi-Wan Kenobi being played by the famous Ian McGregor. Like, Next in world news, Kroger has joined Walmart in asking customers to no longer carry open firearms in stores. So just like Walmart had asked, hey, don't bring your gun just openly in our store, please. Kroger's doing the same, Kroger's thing. Doing the same thing. So that's you know pretty simple there. As of recording this, Hurricane Dorian is, I think, on the edge of Florida, as last I checked, I believe. Um, and our threats of players do go out with all the victims that have been hit in the past few days with this. I know the Bahamas got hit really hard, and I'm sure other places around that as well got really hit really hard as well. So just please be safe out there, and I hope everything gets better soon. And that's all for School News. I'm Aiden. I'm Brooks. And I'm to Sam and Brigham for sports. See y'all next week. I'm Briggs. I'm Sam. And you're watching Elk Sports. The Burroughs and Lady Elk volleyball team beat Joshua High School and improved their record to 21-4. They are now ranked top five in the 5A region. Then for our cross country team, we took second out of 23 teams for the Elk Run. We're also ranked sixth in the state for 5A varsity boys. The Burroughs and Elks football team had their first game against Conference Cove, a tough 6 a school. According to Burroughs and Star Sports on Twitter, they lost 30 years. Psych! They won the game in the last minute. Blake Myers threw a game-winning touchdown pass to Jackson Winburn in the final seconds, and we won the game 41-38 against Coppers Cove, a playoff team, and a 6A school. Remember, we're a 5A school. Right. We're a 5A school. We're we beat a 6A school. We beat a 6A school. So there you go. Now, we finally get to play at home. We finally get to play at home this week against Den Roswell. We sat down with varsity cornerback Mike Smith for an interview. 
What's up, Elk Nation? I'm here with varsity cornerback Mike Smith, and we're here to talk about last week's win against 6A Coppers Cove. Mike, how do you feel about last week's win? I mean, I feel good. Like, the whole team did our thing. We had a little, you know, mistakes and stuff, but we came back and, you know, we played good. We caught the dub. So next week is your first home game as a varsity player against Denton Braswell. How does that feel, being an underclassman? I mean, it feels like a lot of pressure, you know, because you got to play up to the the standards like it's quicker than last year like freshman and all that. like it's way faster and for it to be like my first home game I'm kind of nervous because like everybody gonna be there you know kind of nervous and stuff but we're gonna put on the show I mean I I'm used to it now like the first game at the way you know I got the feel of how it is being on varsity and stuff so well, Mike, is there anything else you want to say before we go? No, see, some slight, you know, be there. You know, we're going to put on the show for y'all. That's really it. Thanks for being our second interviewee on Elk Sports. No and now we take it back to Elk Sports. For Elk Tennis, they traveled to Mansfield Legacy, but unfortunately lost 15-4. But they did have six third set tiebreaks. That was pretty good. And then they beat Mansfield to review at home 17-2. Then for Pro Sports, my man Zeke. Finally got paid six years, $90 million, and he will be under contract until he's 32. So, go Cowboys. Well, that's all this week for Oak Sports. I'm Sam. I'm Briggs, and you've been watching Oak Sports. I'm Grayson Sawyer. You may not recognize me, but I'm the boomstick guy, and I'm the most important person in Elk TV. Now, watch all my amazing boom work. Part of this Elk TV program. That's done by tomorrow, right? So the news and the sports. Uh, and it got progressively worse. Hello, Elk Nation, I'm Briggs. I'm Sam. And you're watching Elk Sports. How do I feel about Grayson? Well, I really love Grayson, you know? He's always out there getting us that A1 sound quality for sports. I really respect how serious he takes his craft. 100%, I really admire his work. I hope someday to be like him. Hey, Sam. Yeah? You know that's a broom, right? And not a boomstick? What do you mean the boom's right here? See? No, no, no. See, this is the handle, all right? See, right here, bristles, all right? Check it. Look, whoa, sweeping, all right? Broom. But why would Grayson use that to get sound if it's not a real broom? Well... Between you and I, Grayson isn't exactly the brightest bulb in the box, you know? Kind of weird. I mean, I guess. Doesn't he give you those weird vibes? I mean, a little, yeah. I just, ugh, makes me want to yell at him, you know? Grayson! That is not the real boomstick! It is a broom! Well, today sucked. But you know what? This boomstick, it's real to me. And I'm still the best when it comes to A1. Grade quality sound. I'm Grayson Sawyer, and I approve this message. Lewis of Stalin here. You may know me from the hit film Death of Stalin. Where I die, or the Hall the the, uh, the Hall of War genocide, where I killed seven million people. Now that's what I call a pro gamer move. I love America, bro. I love Labor Day. I just love poor people. But see, Labor Day was born as a magnificent holiday, born as a consolation prize from the Industrial Revolution, where five-year-old children will work 12-hour days every day, some came in a factory alongside their parents so they could earn just enough money to survive and not starve to death. Really lovely. I'm really glad you American pigs have continued the tradition of totally caring about the working class. Even a day, you elected a rich, multi-billionaire to represent the working class over a slightly less rich political dynasty that have been in politics for like a century now. 
I love America. I know we had a hard time, but look, Joseph Stalin, go America. Love America. I didn't see you there. I'm Gracie Sawyer, but you probably actually already knew that. Okay, you can cut the music now. Stop. I said stop! Some people have always asked about my life. They always say that it's exaggerated. But you know what I say? I say it's perfectly accurate. Welcome to Living Like Gracie. Lesson one, stay positive. That's what I'm talking about. I'm looking fresh. I'm looking, I'm looking cute. You don't need a mirror to love yourself. It doesn't tell you how good you look. As long as you love yourself in here, that's all that matters. As you can see, this is how I live my life. That was the end of lesson one. Tune in next time on the gold episode for lesson two. Good night. Shut up. I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I say it. I was told when I get older.